are we doing guys and welcome back to my channel um so we're here today we're going to take a look at the event lucille's game so we have seen this game a number of times or this event should we say a number of times so far um i haven't really looked into it purely um because it's a pay to play game um so let's just jump straight into it and let's take a look so where I say it's pay to play, currently there is no way of getting free tokens to play this. You either need to purchase them with rubies or you need to purchase them using a pack. Um, I have had a little play around with it a couple of times, um, but let's let's dig into some of the details and let's take a proper look at it and we'll see what it's see what it's like. So let's load up the first eye and see what it says. So Lucille's game, players from all regions can participate. Everyone has the chance to win a super prize. When your region reaches a certain amount of Lucille points, everyone in your region gets a reward. The ranking is cross-regional, and Lucille points increase with each player's draw. The higher the score, the higher chance of winning the super prize. So as we can see, not many events are like this, but this event appears to be open to every single region. Um, which normally in a lot of these events you get, um, either the regions in your season or just your region. This covers all region by the looks of it, so every single server um, will enter this. When your region reaches a certain amount of Lucille points, everyone in the region gets a reward. Um, I've had a little look around this event and I can't actually see any details of what your region needs to earn to get a reward. I can't say I've ever seen a reward sent out when it hits a milestone. I don't know if because the, the regions that I'm in don't use it enough. Um, but I'm not quite sure with that one where we find out what target or what milestone you need to hit. Um, but yeah, I've never seen a reward from that. Uh, the ranking is cross-regional, so basically not just your region are involved in the rankings. It's cross-regional, contains all the regions. And Lucille points increase with each player to draw. The higher the score, the higher the chance of winning the Super Prize. So if we go back to the main event, you'll see in the middle we've got the Super Prize. Currently it's 30,000 or 1-minute speed-ups. You'll see the bar underneath is on fire, which means it is quite high. So what we might do is just jump in and buy some of these and see if we can win that middle one. Um... Basically increase every time a player plays this, I'm assuming the number underneath Lucille points goes up by one. The higher it gets, the more chance you've got of winning the super prize. Otherwise, you get all the prizes around the outside. Um, so let's just quickly grab some. So I'm not going to purchase a pack, but I have got rubies. So let's buy four of these. One, two, three, four. Um, and let's go for a spin. So we can either draw once or we draw ten times. Obviously, I've only got four tokens. So we are going to tap these once. But we give it a spin and then we get a little bit of animation. So it's all flashing around the outside currently and it's got that top one for us, so 200 of the tyres. But basically, you, as you've seen then, it flashes the gold box around all of these individually and then finally uh, Negan slams his loose seal down and it picks the price for you. Let's go for another one. Spinning around and slam down. So there we got 100 for the helmet. And we'll do the other two in a second. Let's take a quick look down at the bottom. So down at the bottom, we've got um, your reward records. So this is going to show us your rewards at the bottom and then all players' rewards at the top. So it'll show you who's won the super prize. Um, so you can have a skip through. There's probably some names that you recognize in there, some, some of our big players within the regions. Next one along, rewards. So here it's going to tell you what is within the reward pot and the percentages of your chances of getting it. Looks like at the bottom... Um, got a little bit of detail lucille's points reset when someone wins the super prize so as soon as someone wins it those points return to zero and a new super prize gets included um lucille points increase with each player's draw so we know that one so every time someone draws it increases those points and then when someone wins the super reward the new one will become available so as soon as it's won points go back to zero and you need to start climbing that meter again looking at rankings this is going to be all the rankings of people in here um, as we see, a very well-known name there at the top, Voldemort. He's top there with just over 18,000 points. Um, and then, yeah, we just scroll down, we see all the rewards. There is obviously going to be rewards for the rankings. Let's move mine out of the way. So top reward, 500 Town Hall tokens, um, 60 gold frags, which is nice, and 5 million bullets. These will go down to the top 500 players. Obviously, the rewards will drop as you go down into the higher figures. Uh, but top 500 do get something which is not bad and then what we've got at the end and then we've got the store so you will see well on here um left hand side the gold one you've got 100 loose seal what do they class them out? Uh, vintage coins so these vintage coins can then be used in the store here so you can get the vintage coins while um 
doing your hits and then you can exchange these coins for different items quite good items in there you also got gears for your um uh, your recruit which is quite nice got some speed ups you can choose from good old medals down there so those legendary combat medals will be handy for a lot of people and then we've got some long range some keys and some frames down there as well um not a bad little store if i'm honest it gives you um a bit of a spread of things you can spend it on so looking at that there that is rewards that i would like to earn they are worth playing the game are they worth spending money on that's e down to each and every player's discretion um let's have a couple more spins and see what we land on here knowing me i won't be lucky enough to get the super prize so there we go we got 100 vintage coins there um, I think I might actually get some yesterday as well. If I go into my store, I've got, I've got five, uh, 400 vintage coins now um, to use. I am going to carry on playing this until the last day and then probably get combat medals, I dare say. Um, last spin. While that is spinning, you also see just above the buttons where you do the draws, there is also milestone rewards for um, oh, nice five-hour research speed ups. Quite nice. Yeah, as you can see, you've got the milestone rewards like we had on other events. The more tokens or coins or whatever they're calling it you use, You'll climb up those milestones and um, so overall thoughts on this event um nice little event there is good rewards to earn a um, little bit disappointing there isn't any free ways to get token it's a shame we don't get one token or a couple of token day free um or some other ways to earn them because this purely is a pay to play game um if we tap into here you'll see what we do get so obviously you only get a maximum of four you can buy with rubies each day so i've done that and then the packs for me, because I'm in the UK, start from four ninety nine up to ninety nine ninety nine. Um, looking at four ninety nine, six tokens and a thousand rubies. Uh, so what? I just got four for four hundred rubies. So yeah, I suppose that isn't priced too bad. There are six of the tokens for four ninety nine. But again, it's all depending. Like myself, I am majority free to play. It wouldn't interest me these packs. When I do spend, I only spend on normally weekly cards. That's normally my guilty pleasure in Warpath. Um. But again, if you did want to spend, I suppose that they are relatively good packs. Uh, so yeah, so I say overall thoughts. I quite like the prizes. They are they are quite nice prizes in there. That middle one would be quite nice to win. Um, Thirty thousand one minute speed ups would be nice. But obviously that does change as well. You do get a selection from where we do. If we look at rewards, um, I'm assuming the selection for the top prize would always be from out of this pot, but it'll always be higher numbers um, than what you'll see around the outside. So yeah, um, cool little game. i say it's a real shame that you don't get anything for free on it. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Let me know if you played the game. Let me know what you think about it being only a pay-to-play game. Um, let me know if you think the rewards are worth it. I'll leave it there, guys. Um, I hope that helps explain the game a little bit if anyone hasn't played it before or if someone isn't sure about the event. As always, guys, remember to subscribe. Um, I will try and keep you up to date with anything new that comes to the game and also give some advice along the way in regards to normal gameplay. Um, but for now, guys, keep on surviving. Um, enjoy the rest of your day.